comic book movies reign supreme when it comes to movie theaters, TV, or even tablets or phones, well, wherever you decide to watch your favorite content. Picturing modern day cinema without superheroes seems unthinkable, and more content is already on the way. This is amazing. This time in the form of none other than the Watchmen themselves, who will be rebooted with a new TV series. But not in the way that you're all probably thinking. Fans of Alan Moore's iconic graphic novel or Zack Snyder's film adaptation are already skeptical. We will now shed some light on the phenomenon that is Watchmen and tell you everything you need to know about the new direction of the upcoming show. But as always, I'd like to warn you guys, spoilers are coming. And I'll whisper, no. Before we dive into the new series that will already air this year on HBO, we will look back at the year 1986, a time when two men stirred up the world of superheroes with their respective works. The first one was Frank Miller, who published his Dark Knight Returns epic. The second one was Alan Moore, who gave us Watchmen. Both comic books dealt with broken heroes living in a world that was every bit as damaged as they were. These were comic books that no longer presented shiny cookie cutter characters. No, they focused on edgy individuals with dark secrets. Alan Moore brought this to a whole new level when he wrote Watchmen. You're suggesting I was the cause. At that time, DC had just purchased the rights to several Charlton comic characters and wanted Moore to write a story involving said characters. His initial story, however, offed one of the main characters immediately and soon revealed itself to be a murder mystery. DC was interested, yet unwilling to kill off characters that they had just bought the rights for. This is why Alan Moore and illustrator David Gibbons developed their very own characters. They were, however, heavily inspired by already existing superheroes. Rorschach, for example, is a mix between Batman and The Question, a Charlton comic book character. Dr. Manhattan was based on Captain Adam. Night Owl was based on the Blue Beetle comics. But the character cannot deny similarities with Batman either. Let's go. But Alan Moore's Watchmen does not only oppress its readers with numerous characters that break the norm when it comes to traditional superheroes by being tortured or dark individuals. No, Moore's Watchmen takes place in an alternate universe that does not seem too different from our very own. The graphic novel also refuses to tell the typical good versus evil story. Every single point of view is explored, time jumps occur, and there is even a comic book story within this comic book. And every chapter of this 12 issue series has additional bonus material, which adds more to the characters and the world they live in. It should also be noted that it was not only Alan Moore who turned Watchmen into a phenomenon. The illustrations by David Gibbons are every bit as important. Out of my way, people have to be told. You know I can't let you do that. Moore's original idea was to develop a superhero Moby Dick story. And he was more than successful. After all, Watchmen remains the only comic book to be on the times list of the 100 best novels since 1923. Critics and readers praised Watchmen from the start, making it a huge success. Alan Moore himself, however, was not satisfied. He intended to influence other comic book authors with Watchmen, but felt that most of them used the character of Rorschach in order to tell many more new violent superhero stories. But contrary to Moore's critique, one must admit, Watchmen paved the way for more risk-taking when it comes to characters and storytelling. Nations around the world still reeling from this morning's announcement, possibly the most significant event in recent history. The success of the comic book of course made Hollywood curious and a film adaptation was discussed ever since Watchmen was first published. Names like Terry Gilliam, Tim Burton or later even Darren Aronofsky or Paul Greengrass were in talks to helm the project. But even back then, Terry Gilliam called the source material on adaptable. This all seemed to hold true until 2009, when Zack Snyder seemingly made the impossible possible. Watchmen hit theaters, without the blessing of Alan Moore though. 
Not the personal big guy. Now, 10 years after the movie's release, an HBO show will come to the small screens. Showrunner Damon Lindelof, who is famous for his work on Lost or The Leftovers, is currently working on the first season, which will be released this year. Even back in 2015, HBO approached Zack Snyder to discuss this project. In 2017, however, Lindelof, who describes himself as a huge Watchmen fan, was hired instead. He stated that he does not intend to simply adapt Alan Moore's graphic novel. Sorry, Rod, what was that? In May 2018, he published a five-page letter directed at the fans. In it, he confirmed that the comic books are holy to him. Nothing shall be rebooted or remade. Lindelof instead views his approach as a remix. He used the Bible as an example, comparing Moore's and Gibbon's work as the Old Testament and his new show as the New Testament within the world of Watchmen. That means the comic books are canon and the show will develop them further. However, the series does not intend to simply be another sequel either. After all, these do already exist in the form of the comic book series Doomsday Clock. No, Lindelof means to create something similar to the original comics, yet something different. That means we will probably not see too many of the original characters. However, they will probably all be mentioned though. My fish! Lindelof wants to bring Watchmen to modern times. According to him, the main themes of the original comic books were the political scope of the Cold War, Reagan and Gorbachev. The new show is supposed to address the political scope of our world and will probably even address Trump and Putin. A second flashback timeline is also said to be part of the show, something that Lindelof mastered to perfection when he made Lost. These flashbacks will explore the past of the Watchmen. I can't help him. A lot of the cast members have already been confirmed. We do, however, not know all of the roles that they are going to play. Jeremy Irons has been confirmed as Adrian Veidt. Miami Vice icon Don Johnson also joined the cast. It is rumored that he will portray another one of the original characters. Also joining the cast are The Leftovers' Regina King, Louis Gossett Jr., Adelaide Clements, and Tim Blake Nelson. What the greatest practical joke in human history. Are you looking forward to Watchmen? Let us know in the comment section below. And for more original content, check out these videos.